This is a brand new kit from our friends at Hunky Dory. It's called Woodland Wildlife. This particular one is what they call a concept card collection. What that means is that you will be able to make eight cards using four designs, so two of each one, that will all be in the same style. And the style in this case is called an easel reveal card. Now, let me show you what that card might look like. So I finished this one and I'll walk you through the steps. So you can see that we've got the deer and this has uh, foiling on the front. There's also foiling on the back with room to write your message. This has a fun opening. So I'm going to pull this tab and this rises up and it gives me the information about this red deer stag. Very fun. So that's a kind of a slider card. And uh, the directions are right here, but I'm going to walk you through them. Before I do that, let me show you the artwork that you get. And you are going to get two of every single one. This is the deer that I just showed you. And they are printed on both sides because they have to be. There's also a snowy white owl and a charming little red squirrel and a mallard duck. So you're going to get two of them. Really nice for masculine cards too. In addition, every single one has the foiled greetings and so they are right there too. Now let me show you how you do this. As I said, the directions are right here, but let me just walk you through the process. So you're going to pop out this piece and you, there we go. Let me just do that. And it says in the directions, and so that's what we'll do also. Now, with the little nibs that are there, if you want to, you can um, smooth them down with your fingernail. You can take scissors to them. I typically don't find there's any need to do much, but that's what you can do. Now you need, you see the center area? There are three score lines, one, two, and third one here. We want to do them in alternating. So we're going to do a valley fold, with this one, and the next one's going to be a mountain, and the next one is going to be a valley, just like that. Now we're going to take the next piece, which is this one. Oh, by the way, this one is labeled front, so that helps. This one has an A on it. So we're going to pull this out and on the back of this little flap, there's another A. And what's going to happen is that the two A's are going to get glued together. Kind of need to push this through. And they're going to get glued. You see where it is? Hopefully you can see. See how white it is there? The A is within that white section. That happens to match this section. So what we're going to do is to glue the two pieces together. And I'm just going to use this tape runner. You could use um, really anything. You could use glue stick. I would kind of recommend the um, extra sticky tape, mostly because it's going to be super strong. But for right now, I'll just do this. So this A is going to go next or on top of that A. And let's make sure you can see that right in the middle. OK, so that looks kind of odd, doesn't it? But that's going to be the pulling mechanism. Whoops. And it's important to get it on straight. OK. Now, as I said, that's going to be the pulling mechanism, like so. Now, this is also going to go to the one that says back. So the back is ma a matching size. And on the back, it says in the directions to put tape or put adhesive in the dark areas. Do not go into this area. So we will do that. Now, this is going to stay flat. So we don't have to worry too much about uh, extra stress being put on it. But you do want to be careful not to get any adhesive into an area where it doesn't belong. Now this is going to go on the back of the first one. 
And that's pretty easy to do because you're simply lining up the two pieces and there they are. Okay, now you can see that that tab is gonna go very nicely. Now, the other piece is right here and this is going to be our uh, focal to the card. It's going on last, which is a little different. But you also see, this says B, you probably can't see it, but that says B, that says B. Same idea, this is a space that's going to get glued to here. So again, we're going to put adhesive on it, and we're going to be careful not to get adhesive into any other area. And as I said, because this is going to have stress on it, you may want to use the extra sticky tape. Now, I'm going to pull this up just so that I can be sure that that is going to be attached to the B. I'm trying to do this so I can see it and so you can see it also. Just like that. Okay. There is our card. Now, you do have, in this case, there's a happy birthday and a with love. You can put down here, you can put right there, you can do whatever you want. Uh, we'll get in really tight so you can see the other cards that are right there, but we did just show you all of that artwork. So even closer, Steve, even closer. There we go. So you can see the owl, the mallard, the deer, and that cute little squirrel. So it's an easel reveal card, very fun to do. You would just simply follow the same process with every single one of them. And as I said, on the back, you can write your message. So I think you're also gonna like these for masculine cards. You can get eight of them. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, you also get eight envelopes that are also included.